Next natin would be annuity. Ano ang annuity? Kung nangutang ka sa akin ngayon, pwede mo siyang bayaran. Equal payments for 5 years. That means, that means meron kang annuity for 5 years or again, periods. So, again, natin siyang period. For 5 periods. In this case, ang period mo or ang time mo ng pagbabayad is every year. So, kunyari, nangutang ka sa akin. Magkaka bayaran ko yan, pinautak kitang 10,000, sabihin ko bayaran mo sa loob ng 10 taon, magkaka bayaran mo sa akin. Eh di sir, eh di 10,000 divided by 10, which is okay lang. Kaya lang hindi ako kikita. Kailangan mo i-assume na gusto kong kumita kapag nagpautang ako. So ibig sabihin, yung pera ko pala, kailangan akong i-take in consideration yung interest. Ay ang cash flow diagram. Nahiram kita ng P, o yung principal amount. Now that means every year, say 5 years say 5 years one, two, four, five. magbabayad ka sa akin ng equal payment equal annual payment or equal payment per period. Magkano ngayon yung equal payment per period niya? Ngayon sa cash flow diagram, hindi kasi natin sila pwedeng equate hanggat hindi sila pareho na. Hanggat hindi sila magka-linya. So, kailangan lahat ito, dalin muna natin dito. Paano ko ito dadalin dito? Kung mapapansin mo, this is na future value. ba? Diba? Kasi future siya, papunta siya dun eh. ba diba, formula natin sa compounded is F is equal to P times 1 plus I raised to N. So, kung titignan mo, A dito is your F. Babalik ko siya dito, that means hinahanap ko ang kanyang present value, which is now F all over 1 plus I raised to N. So that means this is A all over 1 plus I raised to 1. This is now A all over 1 plus I squared. A all over 1 plus I cubed. A all over 1 plus I is to 4. A all over 1 plus I raised to 5. Or tawagin natin N kasi parang any number of years. O yung N ang i-represent natin dulo. Ngayon, pwede ko na silang equate. P is equals to lahat ng to. Equate natin. Pain ko na lang ha. P is equals to A all over 1 plus I plus A all over 1 plus i squared plus a all over 1 plus i cubed plus a all over 1 plus i raised to 4 plus a all over 1 plus i raised to n So that means, pwede ko na palang kunin yung present value niya kahit dyan pa lang Yung present value ng lahat ng mga hinulog ko ay ito yung equivalent niya ng mga lahat ng hinuhulog ko Kung baga pwede ko nang uh, i-compute dyan kung ano yung a Kunyari, nangunta ko ng 10,000 Magkano pala yung A na kailangan akong bayaran sa'yo every year sa loob ng 5 years? Pero syempre, kung 100 yan, mahirap namang isulat yung lahat ng 100. So, gawa tayo ng formula. Or, I mean, i-derive natin formula from this. Or, pwede kayong actually gumamit ng summation. Diba? Uh, uh, progression, sorry. Pwede kayong gumamit na dyan ng progression. Gamitan muna natin ng algebra. Multiply both sides by 1 plus I. Pag minultiply ko both sides by 1 plus I, itong nasa kabila would be ganito na. Ito magiging A all over wala na kasi 1 plus I times 1 plus I. That would be 0. That would be 1, sorry. This will now be A all over 1 plus I squared I1 kasi 2 minus 1. A all over 1 plus I squared. A all over 1 plus I cubed. Plus A all over 1 plus I raised to 4 kasi 5 to pero sabay na that's N minus 1. Hmm. Ngayon, subtract natin yung original P dito. Tawagin natin itong 1, 2. So, subtract 2 from ay, subtract 1 from 2. Minus P equals to A all over 1 plus i is to 1 plus a all over 1 plus i squared plus a all over 1 plus i cubed plus a all over 1 plus i raised to 4 plus a all over 1 plus i raised to n or 
5. This will now be P times 1 plus I minus P. This will now be A minus 2. Cancel, cancel. Cancel, cancel. Parang siya ng 2. Cancel, cancel. Itong dalawa magka-cancel kasi diba? N, N minus 1, we just represented 5 minus 1, which is 4. So, so ang natira na lang pala dito is A minus, kasi minus minus, A all over 1 plus I raised to. Ayan, from here, we simplify, we factor out P. So that P times 1 plus I minus 1. We factor, uh, we get the LCD. Uh, or we factor out A first. So that would be A times 1 minus 1 all over 1 plus I raised to N. Simplify further. 1 minus 1. So matita na ng PI equals A. Simplify this, we get the LCD of the 2, which is 1 plus i raised to n. 1 plus i raised to n divided by 1 times 1, we get 1 plus i raised to n. Minus 1 plus i raised to n divided by 1 plus i raised to n uh, times 1, we have minus 1. So, natitira na lang natin yan. Lipat ko yung i dito. Simplify that pp is equals to a times 1 plus i is to n minus 1 all over i, yung galing dito times 1 plus i raised to n so now that's the formula for annuity to get the present value of, annu of all annuities, now to get the future value of all annuities, remember that f is equals to p times 1 plus i raised to n so that f is equals to p which is ito, times 1 plus i raised to n. So, makakancel ito, diba? So, magiging na lang siyang a, 1 plus i raised to n, minus 1, all over i. So, that's, yan naman, to get the future values of all annuity, or all it equal payments. What if ngayon, kung ang equal payment mo is, forever kang nagbabayad? Kung forever ka nagbabayad, magkano kaya yung present value ng forever? Ayaw po magbayad ng forever, bayaran ko na lang po siya ngayon, minsanan ko na lang po. O sige, compute natin. Yeah. Compute natin, magkano yung babayaran mo? So, sabi natin, ang formula ng P is equals to A times 1 plus I raised to N. Dahil forever ka, infinity yan. Minus 1. All over I. Again, dahil forever ka, that is infinity. Any number is to infinity is equals to infinity. Any infinity minus any number is equals to infinity. So that would be A times infinity. Any number is infinity, infinity. So again, I times infinity. Cancel, cancel. A over I or ang tinatawag natin perpetuity. Yan mo na iiwan ng assignment sa inyo kasi... Ang diniscuss ko dito, yung tawag natin, ordinary annuity. Anong ibig sabihin ng ordinary annuity? Kung mapapansin nyo, ang first payment niya is nang galing, is mangyayari after year 1. Ngayon, meron pang isang klase ng, ordina ng annuity. Ang tinatawag naman nun, annuity due. So, kung annuity due yan, ano mangyayari? Annuity due, ganito do yun. is year zero, no? Ang unang payment mo, magbabayad ka, sa simula pa lang. Pagka utang mo, magbabayad ka na. Two. So, if your payment starts every start of the year. Pero pareho lang sila yan. That, be, that means you also have five payments. Ah, sorry. So, that means you also have five payments. That is annuity due. So, kung titignan mo, uh, actually, pwede, kung, uh, pwede natin i-derive dyan Pero mahaba na yung video Para pwede nyo gawing assignment yan Or titig na yan Di ba alam nyo siyang ilipat? Yung lahat lang to, ginala natin dito Kung lima sila Kung apat lang sila Di ba yun ang formula niya? Yung formula na nakuha natin kanina Di ba ito yung formula niya? Kung, ah, apat sila Magiging lang yung N mo magiging Di ba kung apat sila, yan ang mangyari. Pwede mong i-derive yung formula kung apat sila, plus i-add mo lang yung 
A. So, pwede nyo try, isolve nyo kung or kunin nyo yung formula, or pwede nyo nalang gamitin yung logic na yan. Kung gusto nyo kunin yung present value, assume nyo lang na apat sila, and then add mo lang yung A, kasi yung A hindi naman kumita ng interest, kapag nadala mo na sila dito, madali na lang dalhin sa, at the end of four, at the end of year 4, or at the end of year 5. Remember that the end of year 4 is the start of year 5. Meron din tayong tinatawag na deferred annuity, ano man yung deferred annuity, pinagbigyan kita, sabi ko, 1, to magbayad ka sa akin sa, sa end ng year 3. So, dito mag-start yung payment mo. A, 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 A. Diyan mag-start yung payment mo. So, paano naman natin gagawin yan? So, dahil may lang, ilang taong ka nagbabayad. 5, 6, 7. Again, assignment niyan yan. Pero, pwede nyo i-assume na this is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, yung pinakita natin formula kanina. Dila na, dinala natin lahat sila dito. Ayun yung formula natin. And kapag nadala mo na siya lahat dito, pwede mo nang dalhin doon. Kapag nadala mo na doon, pwede mo nang ibalik sa future value. 